And tomorrow night? Will we see flakes of snow? No, 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 no. That's that's old news. That's that's <laughs> yesterday's news. Pete's Peter. on the weather deck for us now. <laughs> Pete, we're hoping for some nice walk-up weather. Well, we, we certainly won't have snow. It'll be a little breezy, but at least temperatures will be higher than they have been. And this week's been kind of tough. It's been a little bit chilly and certainly at times snowy, but after some morning sun, it was rather cloudy. We're actually getting some sun right now just coming through the clouds. So that's some good news to finish up today. And let's take a look at tomorrow and beyond. See what's new and next. So, like I mentioned, this week has been kind of tough. So actually, not only will tomorrow be fine, it's actually the best day of the work week and also including this weekend as well. So we should have a brighter day with more sun than clouds. And the breeze I mentioned is from the south. So that'll help to get numbers well into the 50s. Once we get to Saturday and Sunday, well, here we go again with clouds being in control. At least we won't have any flurries or snow showers, but wouldn't surprise me if there are some bits of sprinkles or light rain with the best chance being late Friday night, maybe dawn Saturday, and then again Saturday night. After that, when we go into next week, more changeable conditions where at times we'll have some sun, but also some new systems that we'll have to keep an eye on as well. So overnight tonight, we just have a few clouds and any showers will be near the Canadian border, way far away from central New York and most of us in the 30s. Sunshine mixed with clouds, but notice behind me, there's more clearer skies than clouds. That's what I was trying to tell you that, well, tomorrow's a pretty nice day. Not shown here, the winds will be 15 to 25 with gusts to 35, especially mid-afternoon and for any tailgating, because remember, we've got that game uh, during the evening, so maybe people are starting up late afternoon. Temperatures well into the 50s everywhere, which these numbers are pretty close to normal. During Friday evening, clouds will thicken, but I think for most of us, we're going to stay dry through about midnight. It's after midnight that a system over my shoulder will give us a better chance at some showers or sprinkles. Notice that there's still a few sprinkles left over on Saturday. The clouds in control, remember, with an odd peak of sun, and most of us around 50 to 55 for a high Saturday. Remember, the clouds continue Saturday night and a new opportunity of a bit of light rain to come through. And you still see those clouds in control Sunday, right? We're going to try to see any sprinkles to go away and give way to some breaks of sun. But due to the clouds, again, temperatures struggle somewhere in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Then we get to Monday. And Monday is a similar day to what we should have tomorrow. We should have more sun than anything else, and while clouds will increase, we'll have a breeze from the south again, and that should make numbers get back into the mid and upper 50s. Over my shoulder, you see some new rain here in western New York and Toronto. That's scheduled at the earliest right now to come in at the end of Monday and into Monday night. So let's recap. Quiet tonight in the 30s. Tomorrow, sunshine, some clouds, but it's a brighter day. It becomes breezy, high 58. Saturday, pretty cloudy, and from late Friday night through parts of Saturday, there'll be a bit of light rain or sprinkles. Remember, the Veterans Parade is this Saturday, even though Veterans Day is the following Saturday, and Saturday night you set the clocks back. Some leftover light rain or sprinkles with clouds and breaks of sun, high 53, and besides the football game, the first official basketball game is Monday, and Election Day is Tuesday, and another game on Wednesday, a lot on the seven-day. Stanley Law Skywatch. Uh, you can see now the sun is out, illuminating the buildings and the leaves on the trees back inside.